This is my cat. Hello. Hi guys, it's Molly here and today I'll be doing my November wrap up and also my November book haul. So again, I didn't get to read a lot of books this month because I've been rather busy, but that's okay. Let me just show you guys the books that I read. The first book I read is Noah Barley Water Runs Away and this is actually a children's book and I loved it. It was um, really adventurous, I think, and I would highly recommend it to anyone who wants to try a children's read. It actually caught me by surprise because I didn't think it was going to be some sort of like fantasy slash fairy tale kind of thing and so it was a bit weird at first. So like the first half, I, I didn't know what was going on and it was a bit a bit boring for me but like the second half was just terrific the amount of depth that this book actually has for a children's book is just quite amazing and the morals and lessons that you learn by the end of the book is just so cool and just yeah I would really recommend you to read this and the second book that I read is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire for the My Potterheads readathon and I loved it absolutely loved it um I do think that the third one was better uh, but you know that's debatable but this one was so full of um, wizard world building like so full of it like you finally see other communities other wizarding communities outside of Scotland it's in Scotland right Scotland Scotland Basically outside of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, you can see that other countries also have their own Ministry of Magic, especially when you um, go to the Quidditch World Cup with the characters, and also that there are actually other wizarding schools outside of Hogwarts, like Durmstrang and Bobaton, and it's just really cool, all the tasks in the Trouser Tournament, and the, I also love um, all the friendship um, issues in this book like it really makes me value the trio's friendship more so I think that this was a really great um, addition to the book of course I read it but you know I didn't realize that it was so much more than what it was when um, I read it last time so yeah I have obviously five stars for this one so those are the books that I read in November. I'm hoping that I can read a lot more next month and I know I'm gonna read a lot more and I just can't wait to read more next month. So let's get into the first book that I bought this month. I got the Scholastic box set for Harry Potter. So as you can see, um, the box set sucks as if like the box sucks. It's really, really bad. But I can explain this, I actually got it for really, really cheap on Carousel. 150 ringgit including postage. Um, and it's actually, I guess it's not like completely a new edition But that's okay, that explains why the box sucks But the books are in like perfect condition, let me just show you For example, this is Harry Potter 5, look at that beautiful cover And it's, it, it's basically like completely new, so all the books are like that as well uh, Except for the fourth one, the fourth one has a bit of like effect there but like I don't care for 115 ringgit excluding postage it is perfect I love it so much I'm just gonna show you guys the covers because they're just absolutely gorgeous it's the first one the second one oh I love the colors used in this one this is the borrow it just looks absolutely awesome this is Prisoner of Azkaban Blood of Fire Order of Phoenix and the sixth one the seventh one and basically the best thing about the box set is the spine! I love how it shows Hogwarts all together. This is the main reason why I wanted this box set because that is just absolutely gorgeous. It has to go on my shelf. Even though I don't have room on my shelf but I'll make room for this beautiful box set. Okay, so the next four books I'm going to show you are all from Bookalicious. The first one is The Rare Society by Marie Lu which is the second book to the Young Elites, right? Yeah, the Young Elites. But I haven't read the Young Elites, but I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna be dying to read the second one once I finish that, so I bought it. The next one is the sequel to A Thousand Pieces of You, my most anticipated book of the year, which is 10,000 Skies Above You. And this is just the most beautiful cover this year that I bought, and I just absolutely love it. Even the first book has a gorgeous cover, and I just cannot wait to read this. I'm gonna read this next month. This is the first book I'm gonna read next month. The next two books are Zodiac and also its sequel, Wandering Star. I bought this like 20 days after I bought Zodiac because I figured that 
I probably would really want to read the second book if I enjoyed this one and when I bought this one, Wandering Star wasn't out yet. So now that it's out, I have both of the books. So yeah, Amelia really wanted me to read this and she really highly recommended it. So I'm gonna give it a go. And also the main character, um, her Zodiac is a Cancer and I'm a Cancer. So I'm pretty sure I'll be able to relate to the main character a lot. So that was one of the reasons why I really want to get this one as well. So yeah. And the next six books that I bought are all from the Five Ringgit sale at the summit. Um, unfortunately, I don't think that the book sale had a lot of good choices this time, but that's okay, I still got some that I really wanted. The first one I got is Ranger's Apprentice The Lost Stories. This is the 11th book in the Ranger's Apprentice series. I loved that series so much. I read it when I was like 11 and 12 and uh, I love this series a lot. I'm currently reading the ninth book on ebook, like really slowly, but um, yeah, I just had to get this and discover more about the world. This one's like a combination of like short stories from the world and I love the series. You guys should read it. This one I got is The Memory of Love by Linda Olsen. Um, I don't know anything about this book, I've never heard of it, but when I searched it out on Goodreads, a lot of people said that it was a really beautiful book with beautiful writing, so I had to give it a go and also look at the pages. I forgot what people call this, but it's just so cool. The next one I got is Lucid. I feel like I've seen this book around somewhere and like someone recommended it, but I can't remember who it was. But um, yeah, the synopsis sounds really cool and the rating was pretty okay. The next one I got is Shades of Earth by Beth Revis. Yeah, this is the third book in the Across the Universe trilogy. I think it's a trilogy. I have Across the Universe. I don't have the second book, but when I found this one, it looked like it was in perfect condition. I had to get it, so hopefully the trilogy is good. I got Etched on Me by Jen Crowell. Um, I don't know anything about this book, I've never heard of it, but uh, the blurb sounds really interesting and looking at the reviews on Goodreads, people said that it was a really like heartbreaking kind of book because it was about um, mental illness as well. And I don't know, I feel like because I'm taking psychology, I should read more books about psychology related stuff. And the last one I got is Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. Um, I've seen this book around on booktube I think and they said that it was really good. Uh, I am really starting to get into high fantasy books like Throne of Glass and Rangers Apprentice I think is also a high fantasy so I really love the high fantasy world and yeah so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna enjoy this as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye!